Hey, fellow expeditionists. We're in the Purdue Department of Forestry. And we are back at Martell Forest to finish a hike that we started last November. Martell Forest is a 477-acre outdoor classroom and research facility near West Lafayette's Purdue University. We hiked a couple loops at the south end of the forest in November 2020, with plans to hike the rest in spring 21. But when we returned in April, we found the forest closed for a few weeks due to so many people that couldn't follow the simple rules of no foraging, in particular mushroom hunting. This land is owned by Purdue and we are lucky that they have opened it to the public at all. So we all must strive to protect it and practice leave no trace principles. Fortunately, it was open on Memorial Weekend, so we took to the trails to experience the rest of Martell Forest. All right, we are back at Purdue's Martell Forest. We tried to uh, hike here about a month ago, but it, they had it closed at the time. But what we did not expect today was to be finding all of the uh, Brood 10 cicadas, because we had never really seen much here of the cicadas 17 years ago. But we've already encountered them real fast on the trail, so, and I can hear them too. Now you wonder what it looks like when the emergence of the cicadas comes up. Look at all these holes in the ground. And this is on the trail, so just imagine what it's like throughout the forest. Yeah, we're like hundreds of feet onto the trail, and I think we've already seen almost as many cicadas here as what we seen at Shirley Creek last week. Uh, yeah. Yeah. This is Tippecanoe County, Indiana, and like I said before, I rarely see the 17 cicadas here. We're on an old earthen dam here at a pond that I didn't even know it ex uh, existed. It reminds me a lot of your uh, little earthen dams you find that the CCC built back in the 30s. Listen to the sound of them cicadas. Look how lush this forest is, catfish. I know, so green. It just almost makes me up feel like we're in Tippecanoe County at all. Just not used to that up here. It's all cornfields up here.
This was not intended to be another cicada video, but we found so many and it was totally unexpected. What we found here blew away our experience in the Hoosier National Forest just a week earlier. trying to push on through and uh, we didn't start this hike until almost 5 p.m. and uh, so we're starting to get a little bit hungry but there's just so many cool things that divert our attention and and uh, we have to explore and experience and see it for ourselves yep. and then of course there's also the occasional scenic side trip of where we uh, get off trail a little bit where we miss where the trail apparently turned and next thing you know we're on a little road of some kind so we have to <laughs> go back and find where we missed our turn but still loving it. Me too. Well, we made it down here to the beautiful Indian Creek again. But I think we're going to have to get our feet a little wet on this crossing. Yep, definitely had to get our feet wet. <laughs> That's a steep section of trail there, buddy. Yeah. Use the rope. Well, fellow expeditionists, that's our hike today here at Purdue's Martell Forest. We did about the three-fourths of the northern section of the uh, trails here at the forest, about five miles roughly. We did the other quarter of it in the south, a couple of loops, back in November. We'll post a link to that video down in the description. Catfish, what did you think of today's uh, hike? I thought it was really cool hiking here. It's definitely a different experience from when we hiked here in November. So much more greenery, a whole lot of cicadas. That was nice and unexpected. Yeah, I totally agree with you. It was a great hike. We don't find rolling hills like this up here in northern Indiana typically. This is the kind of stuff you would find more in the Hoosier National Forest in the south. And as he mentioned, the cicadas, we've probably seen more here today in this little forest than what we've seen in the Hoosier National Forest just one week ago. So that was a pleasant surprise. Had a lot of fun with it, as you've already seen. But we are going to head out now, find our next adventure. Until then, peace, peace out. out.